Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to take you on a fascinating trip down memory lane, comparing some of the most iconic gadgets of the 1960s with the high-tech devices we can't live without today. Trust me, you're going to be amazed by just how far we've come in terms of technology, innovation, and convenience. Whether you're a fan of retro gadgets or can't imagine life without your smartphone, there's something in this video for everyone. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. One television in the 1960s VS. Smartphones today. Let's start with the undisputed king of household gadgets in the 1960s, the television. Back then, the TV was the centerpiece of every living room. Families would gather around the big, boxy screen to watch the evening news, their favorite sitcoms, or the latest episode of Star Trek. For most people in the early 60s, these TVs were still black and white, and owning a color TV was considered a luxury. But by the middle of the decade, color television sets started becoming more affordable. And they quickly became a must-have in every American household. It's funny to think about it now, but back then, having a TV was the pinnacle of home entertainment. Most people only had a few channels to choose from, and when your favorite show came on, you had to be there at the right time. No pausing. No rewinding, just real-time entertainment. It was an experience that brought the whole family together. But if you fast forward to today, the smartphone has taken over that role and so much more. It's not just a source of entertainment, it's a tool for almost everything you do throughout the day. Think about it, your smartphone is your TV, your radio, your newspaper, your calculator, your alarm clock, and your computer, all wrapped into one sleek little device. Instead of gathering around the TV, we now gather around our individual screens, whether we're watching Netflix, catching up on the news, or checking out the latest viral video on YouTube. It's incredible to think how one gadget has replaced so many others. Today's smartphones are portable, personal, and so much more powerful than the TVs of the 1960s ever could have been. Two Record Players VS Streaming Services Now, let's talk about how people listened to music in the 1960s. Back then, the record player was the ultimate way to experience music in your home. Whether you were jamming out to the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, or Elvis Presley, you'd put on an LP, drop the needle, and let the music fill the room. Vinyl records weren't just a way to listen to music, they were an experience. You'd sit back, hear the crackle of the needle, and feel the warmth of the analog sound. Of course, vinyl records weren't exactly portable. If you wanted to take your music with you, you had to bring the record player along, though most people were content to enjoy their music at home. Still, for audiophiles, there was something special about owning a physical record, carefully placing it on the turntable and hearing that first note. Today, things have changed dramatically. With streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube Music, we don't need physical copies of music anymore. You have access to millions of songs right in your pocket, and you can listen to any track, anytime, anywhere. Whether you're into the latest pop hits or classic rock, it's all there at the touch of a button. No more lugging around records or worrying about scratches. Plus, streaming lets you discover new music effortlessly, create custom playlists, and even download songs for offline listening. It's hard to imagine a time when you needed to own a physical collection just to enjoy your favorite tunes. 3. Transistor Radios VS Smart Speakers Let's shift gears and talk about portable entertainment. In the 1960s, if you wanted to listen to music or catch the latest news on the go, you'd reach for your trusty transistor radio. This little gadget was a game-changer for the time it allowed you to take music and news with you. Whether you were at the beach, on a road trip, or just hanging out in your backyard. The transistor radio was compact, reliable, and incredibly easy to use. Fast forward to today, and we've moved way beyond basic radios. Enter smart speakers like the Amazon Echo or Google Home. These devices don't just play music, they're like your personal assistant. With a simple voice command, you can control your entire smart home. From turning on the lights to adjusting the thermostat. They play music, answer questions, set reminders, and more. It's like having a radio that listens and responds to your every need. The concept of portable audio entertainment has evolved in ways that people in the 1960s could never have imagined. Four film cameras vs. Smartphone cameras. Now, let's talk about photography. Back in the 1960s, if you wanted to take pictures, you'd use a film camera. 
photography was a slower, more deliberate process. You'd load up a roll of film, take your shots, and then wait sometimes for days or weeks to get them developed. There was no instant feedback, so you had no idea if your photo came out right until you saw the final print. But for its time, it was still an exciting way to capture memories. Today, things couldn't be more different. Our smartphone cameras are light years ahead. With just a few taps, you can snap high-quality photos and videos, preview them instantly, and even edit them right on your phone. The convenience of having a camera in your pocket at all times has completely changed how we capture and share our memories. No more film, no more waiting, everything is immediate, and it's never been easier to take stunning photos with just a tap. Live Manual Typewriters VS Laptops, Tablets Lastly, let's talk about writing. In the 1960s, if you had a big project, whether it was writing a novel or typing out a letter, you'd be using a manual typewriter. These machines were heavy, loud, and required serious effort to get through a day's work. Typing was a physical task there was no backspace key, no copy-paste, and every mistake meant starting over. But today, laptops and tablets have completely revolutionized writing. They're fast, efficient, and portable. You can type, edit, copy, paste, and share documents in an instant. Plus, with the internet at your fingertips. You have access to everything you need to get the job done, whether it's research, collaboration, or design. It's hard to imagine going back to the days of clunky typewriters when we have all this technology making our lives easier. So there you have it, five gadgets from the 1960s and their modern day equivalents. It's amazing to see how far technology has come, transforming not just the gadgets we use, but how we live our daily lives. From the simple pleasures of a transistor radio to the all-in-one powerhouse that is the smartphone, innovation has made everything faster, smarter, and more convenient. If you enjoyed this trip through time, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. And let me know in the comments what's one piece of old school tech you'd love to see make a comeback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.